Fuck yeah, I'm back. I've been doing quite a bit of these lately now, haven't I? So you guys remember the Subway guy? If not, you you, you might not remember Jared Genesis. But um he's quite the uh he's quite the interesting individual. We got people already hanging out in the fucking chat. Hope you guys are having a fan fucking tastic morning. What's up, Rosa? What's up, Jube Dube? Watching this on my TV, I saw the video title and knew it was the best thing to do. Thank you very much, you do. Very fucking uh, an outstanding member of this, uh, you know, of, the, of this channel. And I appreciate anyone who, who not only you know watches this shit or likes this shit, but goes the extra mile and is like, hey, fuck it, I'll donate too. So yeah, Jared Genesis, he's back, and uh, <laughs> I think we should just get into it. I don't know, may maybe we should actually, you know what? I'm gonna show. I I, I don't know. I'm I'm. Kind of tempted to show the Von Hel Helton thing first, but um, I don't think anyone else has talked about the uh, the Jared Genesis thing, so let's just dive into that one first. Also, I don't know how long of a stream this is going to be. It might just be incredibly short, because I don't even have a ton to talk about, but I felt this was really interesting, and I wanted to talk about it, so here goes Nelson. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even know what he's going to be talking about here. But I know that it was just like six months ago or so. I guess this is a better record than most people who like who are lol cows who claim to go off the internet. Because at least there were multiple months that he were that he was off this fucking shit. But yeah, fucking Jared Genesis, he's back after <laughs> after six months. He's, I just found out recently that he thought he was gonna like you know be getting completely off YouTube. But no, he's back. He's already fucking back. And um, I, I don't know. Let's just take a fucking look at what he has to say. 
What the hell's up, guys? It's Jared Genesis. Um, what a way to start my fucking day. Looking at this tome looking motherfucker. It's just like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna have some fucking breakfast. I'm gonna watch some goddamn Jared Genesis. But this is the one of the first things that I was greeted to. Like when I when I looked into my Discord like early in the morning, someone was just like, "Hey, Jared Genesis is back." By the way, it's like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I do not want to talk about Jared Genesis, but he's one of these really weird, interesting fucking people on the internet, and all for the wrong reasons, but I can't help, it's like, it's kind of like just like watching like, <laughs> like a train crash, it's just kind of something you gotta kind of observe and take a look at for yourself. What's up, Vila? Hope you're all doing fucking fantastic. See quite a few fucking people in the chat right now, hope you're having a good fucking evening, or I don't know, it could be, could be evening for all I fucking know. Wow, man, what a hiatus it's been for me uh, about shit. I want to say, uh, minus a few weeks, it's been exactly two years uh, since I took a break from the internet. Although, I did make a few videos here and there, and, um, you know, I did have a little bit of fun. But, <laughs> for the most part, man, I've been off of here for about two fucking years. And let me tell you something, bro. I damn sure needed it. Um, <laughs> Dude, okay, you can't just come back after two goddamn years and be like, you know, I'm fully, I'm a different person now. We all know, like, that you were clearly too mentally unstable to possibly, wait, Passionate Lobster, you were one of his mods? I had no idea that that was the case. I didn't know that shit. I had no fucking idea. All right, so you know a little bit, you know a thing or two about Jared Genesis. This dude is clearly too fucking mentally unstable. I can barely hear him, but his audio always sucks. Yeah, shit, if I can... Okay, I can at least make it a little bit higher. Yeah, what's up? Uh, for some reason, like, I... Oh, man, fucking YouTube's being a bitch right now. I know for a fact there's more than you watching than what the, what the view counter's saying, because I see you guys actively talking in the chat, so I have no idea what the fuck's up with that, but... Uh, he became spherical? Yeah, he's looking... <laughs> Look, on top of all the fucking shitty attributes of uh, Jared Genesis, it seems like he's taking even less care of himself. So that's kind of concerning. I got my water jug here. I'm trying to keep healthy. Yeah, just don't piss in it this time, dude. Um, if you guys watched my channel, I'm just going to be 100. Like, I, I was starting to fall off. Physically. Oh, dude! Oh my god! You you never had a starting point. You never had a fucking starting point, my dude. You started at fucking you know ground level and just kept digging yourself down more and more and more. What's up, fit and curvy? Now I'm starting to see that fucking view counter go up. I was wondering what the fuck was going on here. YouTube was bullshitting me for like a straight <laughs> a straight five minutes. They're saying like you've got one viewer, and I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't sound right. Um. Uh, Jared Genesis, the crazy wannabe army. Dude. Yeah, I mean, he's not the only one. A lot of these lol cows pretend like they have army experience. He has that in common with Von Helton. And I'm pretty sure I've heard Brett Keen say that type of shit. Or at least that he has like some type of <laughs> some type of martial arts skills. Like these people always pretend like they're tough guys, but it's because they're on the internet. You know, it's really easy to act tough on the internet, but when you meet someone in person, it's another fucking thing. And mentally... In That's why I think that there's so much shit on the internet where it comes to people like this who just get so, like, desensitized that they become, like, Jared Genesis, where they're willing to fucking say and do anything just to seem like a tough guy. But in, re in reality, I'm sure if you met Jared Genesis in real life, he'd be a little fucking bitch. Um, I bet he can still take the Green Ra <laughs> the Green Ranger in a fight? Damn. Maybe. About the last year, um, when I started, like, Alpha Genesis... Uh, I was I was going through some psychological uh, issues uh, due to trolling, you know, and stuff like that. And every and you know what, you made the actual fucking right decision by getting off the internet and taking some goddamn time away from it. That was the right thing that you were supposed to do. And immediately you come back to this shit. Well, not immediately. I'll give you that you actually did take some time away. But you, you <laughs> the solution is not to just dive right back into the fucking frying pan. Because something tells me that you're just going to make an, an ass of yourself again. It's going to repeat the process, and you're going to be made to a lol cow. And people don't forget about the shit that you've done, so that, you know, next time that you garner attention towards yourself in a negative way, it's just going to be that much more fucking savage. 
rightfully so, considering the shit that you've said, dude. You should just stay it off the internet. I don't see any fucking scenario in which there's like a Jared Genesis redemption arc. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, I swear I have a video of him singing to an army song, talking about being tased and making racisms. Jesus Christ. Uh, my childhood love of Power Rangers is probably why Jared is one of my favorite lol cows. <laughs> wow. Everything, it just, it went too far. And unfortunately, that's what caused me to have to leave YouTube for so long. Um, I'm over what happened, you know. I'm sorry if there's some trolls that still don't like me. But in all honesty, man, like, I could tell, I feel refreshed after these two years. It's not just that we just don't fucking like you. That's not what it boils down to. What it boils down to, dude, is that you've just said constantly reprehensible shit throughout your entire career on YouTube. That's what you're known for, saying gross, disgusting shit that constantly pushes the envelope and getting attention that way. It's not like anyone actually takes you seriously for your opinions or anything like that. If you actually had something to offer then maybe some people would be able to overlook your fucking crazy-ass ideas. Um, Jared meme assist. Yeah, that's the thing. He's just a fucking meme to everyone. Anyone who comes across this guy, they don't take him seriously. They just look at him as, like, a fucking meme. And I, I try to be less harsh on people than, you know, most. But with Jared Genesis, just like most people I talk about, it's really hard to be charitable. Um, especially considering the fucking shit that this dude said. Now, I'd like to believe that maybe he's just not within his fucking wits and he doesn't know what the fuck he's actually saying. That's just the best case scenario, but like the worst case scenario is that this dude is legitimately, uh, he's got some really fucked up beliefs. Maybe we can dive into it in an episode sometime for uh, those of you guys who aren't that informed about it. I feel better, man. And, uh, it's funny because I took a break before this. It was only about six months, but you know, looking back, bro, <laughs> I don't think six months was even enough. Uh, I really then why are you here? <laughs> Why? Why are you getting back into it if you didn't even think it was enough? You don't. Just take another fucking swig of water, dude. Yeah, that'll give you all the answers to your life questions. You notice he does that whenever he doesn't know what to say next. But um, anyways, guys, yeah, I'm back on YouTube now. I'm not going to stay on YouTube, though, because this is a poisonous platform. What? You just made your fucking announcement video that you're finally back and you're already like, fuck it, I'm not even going to stay here. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the most flip-floppy bullshit I've ever seen. His head looks like a Kinder Egg. <laughs> yeah, it does. I just Except the problem is there's no surprise inside there. In fact, it's the opposite. I just want to get my Genesis army back, and then I'll move to Odyssey. Um, what the fuck is Odyssey? Is that like a new... Is that like one of these new fucking alternative platforms? Wait a minute. Jared just wants to, he wants to stay on the internet, but he just wants to make a living on, on Odyssey, whatever the fuck that is. So I'll be here for maybe one to two months, I want to say. Um, it won't be consecutive. Um, I'm still working on myself a lot, so I'm, I'm still not taking a lot of time. To oh, you're working on yourself. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I see like nine people chilling out here. I figure there's not going to be a ton of people immediately because, you know, it's early in the fucking morning. But if you guys want to like this shit and drop a drop a share, it goes a long way. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Also, say hi to me in the chat. I, I want to say hi back. On the computer. But, uh, you know, expect a video at least, I want to say, maybe once a week or something like that. Um... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, dude. How, oh, my. Dude, how many illegal things are you going to suggest in these fucking videos? I can already fucking see it in my head. Guys, I want you to know that, like, I might look unhealthy to you, but, um, I... <laughs> Dude, oh my god, that's one fucking way to start a sentence. I might look unhealthy, but... I feel so much better. Like, even though I am roughly 40 pounds overweight, I still feel good. And to be honest with you, like, if you look at sumo wrestlers, a lot of them are overweight and they're still very healthy. Damn, maybe it's like you don't belong on the internet or something. See, they eat a healthy diet, and that's what I've been doing, bro. I've been exercising more. I've been eating a healthy diet. By the way, I just have to say, Sumo's, I mean, really, they're some of the most badass motherfuckers. Uh, I would say it's the most underrated martial art. And I think it's so fucking cool that Donald Trump was the first president to go to a sumo match. Hell fucking yes. Uh, wait a minute. What did I see there? What was Donald that? Trump was the first president to go to a sumo match. Hell fucking 
Oh my! Wait, did you see that? You saw that, right? That's fucking cool that Donald Let's Trump see that was the first got. president to go to a sumo match. Hell, fucking! <laughs> he did the. He did the. Oh my god! What? He did the fucking. <laughs> he did the okay sign. Maga motherfucker. Wait! Oh my god! Did he become like a maga? Did he? Become, I I don't know if he already was. Because I, I never remember him getting into the, like that part of uh, his philosophy or whatever the fuck he called it, but. I didn't, I didn't know that it was like a big... Did you come a big MAGA hat? Is that why he shaved off all his fucking hair? Did you come a fucking skinhead? Like, what's going on here, dude? Oh, Jesus. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to say, though, that, like, I'm not mad at anything. <laughs> yeah, he, no, yeah you're, you heard that right, Philly guy. He just compared himself to a fucking sumo wrestler. Oh, my God, dude. This, dude he's just desperate to fucking justify how he gained 40 pounds. I know a lot of people, they were just trying to get on my nerves. They were just trolling me um, with silly things. And, you know, bro, for that, all I can say is, like, I'm, I'm sorry. Is it, what do you mean trolling you with fucking silly things? You were trying to make, like, arguments about how children can consent and shit like that. You came up with these these wacky fucking terrible, some of the worst fucking takes that are imaginable by human beings. You had some of the worst fucking takes ever coming out of your mouth, and you call that shit silly? No, people were calling you out because it rightfully makes them uncomfortable to hear that type of shit. Because it's terrible. It's fucking atrocious. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. I see like 15 of you guys in the chat right now. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys know what to do if you like this shit. Drop a fucking like. Uh, what's up, security monitor lizard? Folks. Jared needs a little less Debbie. Yeah, he just needs to get out there and fucking exercise and fucking practice what he was preaching for the longest fucking time, which is to take responsibility in his own hands and be a real man, something that he, ironically enough, has never done once in his life. But he tells other people to do it. God damn it. That you felt the need to do that, to try to undermine somebody to feel better about yourself. But see, the thing is, too, I know there's a lot of clout chasers now on YouTube. Uh, ever since I want to say 2015, 2016, this whole clout chasing phase on YouTube started. I think it's because people just didn't know what else to do <laughs> because YouTube sucks. People will do all kinds of corny, stupid things just to get drama views. You mean like say the fucking shit that you did? I, do, I feel like he's talking in a goddamn mirror right now because that's exactly what he did. The only way that he could ever get attention is by saying really fucked up shit that pushed the envelope. Some of the worst takes that a human being, like I said, could possibly fucking have. And he just kept di digging himself deeper. Probably because he... I don't even know if he believed all the fucking crazy shit that he was saying. But you know what I do believe with absolute certainty? That he knew that saying it would get him the attention that he was so desperately fucking craving. And he knows that the only way they can get that attention is by saying that fucking crazy shit. At least that's how I kind of read Jared Genesis. Um, but I don't know, maybe he is, maybe he is just exactly fucking as terrible as, as he lets on, you know what I mean? <laughs> maybe that's too generous of a fucking read on Jared Genesis, because this dude, I don't even, I don't know how someone who's not crazy could have all the fucking takes that he does, and actually genuinely believe all the fucking things that he does without being, like, legitimately fucking insane. Um, get off the internet, dude. If, you, if you're so happy right now, I can guarantee you that you're not going to be happy staying on the fucking internet. Because if you actually speak your mind uh, you ter and, you know, talk about your terrible fucking takes, your terrible opinions, people are going to make your fucking day bad real fast. And justifiably so, because, oh my god, just the shit that's coming out of this dude's fucking mouth. Maybe not right now, but if you actually see, like, the worst of the worst that Jared Genesis has said, yeah, there's a reason why people hate this dude so fucking much. He's threatened to kill people live on stream, and then he got his fucking... That's what he neglects to fucking mention. The reason why he wasn't fucking streaming for, like, two years is because there was, there was this big fucking disaster that he had where he fucking flipped out on this dude called Christian or something. I, no, yeah, his name was Christian. Jared Jess has flipped out on this dude called Christian. Just fucking absolutely fucking flipped out. And what happened? He got his fucking computer taken away for, I, I believe, like, fucking two years. I, I At least I think that's what happened here. By his fucking dad, because his mother and fucking father tried to intervene, and he told them to go fuck themselves, and then he, and then he was like, "Chris, I will kill you! I'll fucking kill you!" He was saying all this fucking crazy shit, like threatening to kill people and saying all these fucking crazy expletives, 
And it was just like, God damn, if this is how you think is an acceptable way to fucking conduct yourself, you do not belong on the fucking internet. If this is how you are on your fucking worst day, then you don't belong on the internet because the internet brings out the worst in people. There's a bunch of fucking dipshits on the internet. Even though I don't believe that anyone who's calling you out was a dipshit, you're the dipshit that was, you know, being called out by the reasonable people. But no matter who you are, you're going to get shit on the internet for your opinions. So you need to make sure that on your worst fucking day that you're still suited to be on the internet or else you're going to have a meltdown that's going to become a viral fucking sensation just like yours was, Jared. Just like fucking yours. And, you know, they'll also, like, uh, you know, uh, take other people's content where they just try to get views off of them. They just farm for views any way they can. And I, I had a lot of farmers. And I see there's a lot of farmers with other content creators like King Cobra, Wings of Redemption, uh, Camelot331. These people... Even those fucking people that you mentioned right there are not seen in the reprehensible light in which you're seen. I mean, like, none of those people... I, I mean, I guess people consider Cobes to be okay, but everyone else, I, I mean, the other two, yeah, they're considered to be bad fucking people, but none of them are, like, seen as reprehensible as you, because you brought up the fucking one topic which no one should ever fucking talk about. Um, You know what I mean? It's just like, oh my god, how are you so fucking stupid? It's like, you have no idea on how social cues work, do you? you, you that, that's why I don't think you should be participating in the fucking internet. Because you have no idea how to interact with other fucking human beings. You need fucking extensive work done on your brain. You need actual fucking psychological help before you're ever going to be fucking suitable to be on the fucking internet. That's for sure. Uh, is this the dude from that video I showed you? Um, <laughs> I, you're talking to security monitor. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, you might, you're probably familiar with this guy because people talk about him occasionally. He's not, like, he hasn't been talked about that much lately, because like you said, he's been off the fucking internet for, like, the past two years. So people have been taking a break from talking about Jared Genesis. Uh, I remember he threatened to beat his dad up. Yep. Yep, that's probably why he got his fucking th shit taken away for two years. And he's trying to make it out like that was an entirely optional thing that he did. It's like, no, I guarantee you his parents forced him to do that shit. And I have no idea whether they would ever give him his shit back. Ever give him back an internet connection. Um... Until he gets a real psychological fucking help, that is. You know what I'm saying. Uh, what's up, Reaper's Lair? Hope you're having a good fucking morning. Um, by the way, guys, if you haven't, you know, drop a like and share this shit out. It goes a long way. They just, I mean, to be quite frank, you know, they suck. <laughs> they don't know how to make good content. and that's Yeah, unlike you, dude. Um, dude, unlike you. Every, uh, man, oh fucking youtube we can't see how many dislikes you get compared to fucking likes now um oh shit good morning miss fox hi what's up dude what's up miss fox hope you're doing well yay we got miss fox here yeah i'm up early i'm talking about dipshit jared genesis uh what's up super inhuman hope you're doing well uh sometimes i like look at your username and i think of that guy who jumps off like you know uh trampolines onto fucking barbed wire <laughs> I don't know why my mind goes. I guess that your usernames are kind of similar. Anyway, why they continuing. do what they do. But you know what? You don't have to suck. Okay, guys. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> fucking inspirational. In absolutely fucking inspirational. You don't have to suck, guys. Worrying what other people think about you. Yeah, just don't be like Jared Genesis. You guys don't have to suck. Like me, and you'll actually have people who like you. See, the thing is, <laughs> wow. most people, people who aren't scumbags, they can tell when you're being fake. Uh, a lot of my trolls, they were just circle jerking like two or three other people, but no one else even liked them. <laughs> Not even, I had like, I had different, uh, different circles of trolls on me and like, not even. Yeah, you were a lol cow and you like. Dude, once fucking Keemstar talks about you, like, multiple circles of the internet are going to want to capitalize on the fucking shit that you've done and said. That's just how it is. Um, what's up, Kevin McAllister? What's up, uh, I, I, I think you're a new name. I think that, I think it's the first fucking time I've seen you before. You can blow instead. Arcs, Arc, Ar Arzenium, the Immortal. Very fucking glad to have you. Hope you're having a good morning. Yeah. Other trolls would like certain trolls. It was pretty hilarious. Um... But guys, listen, if you're a clout chaser, all right, I'm not going to name any names, but all I'm going to say is there's there's no future in that. You're never going to be successful. At the very best, you might get a couple thousand subs, 
but dude, I mean, you know, who's going to be content with that, you know? Say that to fucking people like Burnt Toast and Dragnaut and shit like that, who literally get like hundreds and hundreds of fucking viewers doing this shit, tons of super chats, just by fucking watching people like you and giving their honest opinions. And uh, like, I, I only do that shit sometimes. That's not how I want to make it on YouTube. Like, no, no shame to anyone who does. I mean, I like talking about you guys occasionally, but I also want to talk about pop culture shit and shit like that. But, like, yeah, no, some people, if you have enough fucking charisma, which, like I said, those two people I just mentioned, they do have enough fucking charisma, you can talk about pretty much fucking anything and have an audience for it. So, yeah, people can talk about you and get the fucking audience for it. It's not that dumb. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. There's even a decent audience. It varies a lot depending on time frames and who else is live, but I got a decent audience talking about this shit. Uh, I also got a decent audience talking about pop culture shit and all other fucking types of topics. What's up, Barry Hot? Uh, newbie here. Yeah, no, yeah, I've seen you around, though. I'm glad you're fucking here. Let's continue. Let's try and wrap this shit up, and then we can move on to the Von Helton time stamps I got for you guys. Um, That's all I ever had, and I'm not content with that. That's why I'm still doing this, because I believe I can still be a successful YouTuber. Uh, I'm a spiritual... Oh, my God. Take it from one failed YouTuber to another for different reasons, but come on, dude. Dude, there's a time in your life where you just kind of need to accept, like, that, first of all, making it on YouTube is like a flash in a bottle thing. You just really have to get really lucky with the algorithm. But even if you, if, even, even if that somehow happened with, with you and your video got really popular, like YouTube fucking shows it. First of all, people are not going to click on your video and actually like what they have to see. Because there has to be some level of fucking quality, even if you're going to get lucky in the YouTube algorithm. But let's say that you, you actually put out a, a quality video that, that somehow also manages to make it lucky in the YouTube algorithm. Dude, people are going to find out your fucking history real fast and you're going to you're gonna instantly lose it all because people are going to be like, oh, wait a minute, that's that guy who tried to argue that children can consent. Hmm, wait a minute. I don't know if I want to subscribe to this guy. And that's how it's going to fucking happen. That's why that you, you're not even... You, <laughs> it's very inconsistent because now you're trying to say that you're making on you want to make it on youtube but you were just saying earlier now no i want to make it on odyssey instead whatever the fuck that is also we got 17 beautiful people 18 beautiful people now checking out this shit i love every single one of you um drop a fucking like if you like this shit share this shit out i hope you guys are having a great fucking morning happy to be your fucking morning coffee of a content creator motherfucker social person and I believe that Satan was doing everything he could to knock me off my square. <laughs> Jared's going to join can... BreadTube. Can you imagine that shit? Can you... I mean, he was just saying MAGA earlier, but like, can you imagine that shit if he actually tried to infiltrate BreadTube? That'd be fucking, <laughs> that'd be great. To you guys, he'll send someone. And he sent, I want to say, <laughs> oh man, over 100 people after me. Because that's how powerful I am. And I pride myself on the fact that I was such a threat to the devil that he had to send more than 100 people after me. I think that's amazing. And I praise God for that, that I'm such a threat. Uh, but again... Oh my God. Of course he's trying to make it... I don't even know what to say to that shit. It's like, of course he's trying to make it this fantastical fucking shit. At least he's not as delusional as Vaughn. I guess I gotta say that. But like, still trying to make everything like in your life, this epic struggle between God and Satan. It's really cringy to describe, but, like, what happened to you, something that's so disgusting and vile as the opinions you espoused. It's not like you had some bold political opinion, like, balkanizing the United States or something like that. You're not a fucking visionary. You're just a perverted old dude. Not e I mean, you're just a pervert. I, I, I don't know. He's not quite middle-aged. I don't know how to insult his age range. He's just perverted. <laughs> I guess there we go. That's good enough. Again, I'm not here to start drama, and I'm not going to be talking about old names. I know some of you guys, you're desperate, and you want me to talk about you. I'm I'm not going to do that because, bro, listen, <laughs> I care about you too much, homie. I know by doing that, I'm only hurting you, okay? I'm just giving you that cheap-ass clout. Go out, make your own content, stop being afraid to be yourself. Dude, I make fucking plenty of my own content. If this shit shut down together, I mean, I'm sorry. If this shit shut down tomorrow and all the little cows stopped making content, I'd still be here on YouTube doing this shit because I think it's fun. I don't do it because I have to. In fact, these days I make way more money making thumbnails and other graphic shit for people than, you know, streaming. And that's perfectly fine with me because you know what? I enjoy doing it. I have fun doing it. never expect to get anything out of it because... 
this is for you guys and myself because I enjoy doing it, like I said, and people enjoy watching it. So as long as there's people watching and as long as I like doing it, I'm going to continue fucking doing it. You'll get a following, dude. Okay, it will happen. Just don't be phony baloney, bro. <laughs> That's why people like... If it wasn't for you, I would have lasted two minutes watching this person. Well, thank you very much, Philly guy. I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. It really does. Uh, it, it proves that I'm fucking transformative, right? It completely spits in the face of what this guy's saying. Look at his fucking smug-ass smirk. He's full of shit, dude. Like me, dude, because I'm not a fake motherfucker. You understand? I, d I don't put on a mask. I don't try to be something that I'm not. And people saw that. You know, and I'm not even the most entertaining guy. I'll admit that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't edit. Um, you know. I'm you don't put any effort into your content at all. It's almost like that's the case. I'm not, like, super multi-talented. But people still like <laughs> Dude, you're not single. You're not, like, mono-talented, dude. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Y you can't even come out and fucking say that shit. Jared Genesis... Because I know that you watch videos about you. I'm probably the first one to make a video about your return. You're going to watch this shit. So let me tell you, what is one fucking talent? Comment down below. What's one talent that you genuinely think that you have? I'll look at it with an open mind. You know, I'll look at it with an open mind. But I can't think of one. Because I stay true to myself, bro. So that's just my advice to my trolls. I know some of you still want to get clout off of me. You know, I recently read some of the comments in my old videos just let it go and move on homie like it is what it is there's an old saying you know all is fair in love and war uh i know i did some shallow things to some people but they did twice as much shallow shit to me you know what i'm saying i was just standing my ground and to be quite honest I yeah but they didn't try to make the argument that children could consent unlike you jared <laughs> dude how, how are you gonna be named jared and be going around making those arguments <laughs> I regret anything i did but with that said, I mean, I did feed too many trolls. I'll admit that. I was just at a point in my life where I felt so low that it just didn't even matter to me. But I'm doing better now, and I'm I'm not going to let anything knock me off my square. I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to try to get to the top. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe even be the next PewDiePie. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck that guy. I can't stand that PewDiePie asshole. Uh, I can't stand What the fuck? That just kind of came out of nowhere people that have like this this fucking fake phony wannabe celebrity look to them i don't want to be that kind of person but dude at least he doesn't look like fucking humpty dumpty yo face guys that's all i got for you for now stay rocking stay rad you know what i'm saying yes that's what jared genesis tried to argue he made the fucking most unholy argument a human being could ever make it was fucking crazy and jared genesis is back in the building plenty of rants Plenty of uh, funny skit videos. I don't know I about that. Do a lot of music stuff, man. Um, and of course, you know, video games. Check out the uh, Final Fantasy three poster behind me. You know what I'm, what? Like, <laughs> I, I'm gonna get. Very oh my soon. god, he's just like, yeah, I've got a poster of this game, so I'm pretty damn informed. It's like, come on, dude. Have you even ever fucking played the game? Um, what's up? Gr gr I can't pronounce your name. <laughs> Can you say, uh, Coral. I'm just gonna call you Coral. I like that. Uh, his name is just Jared Genesis, yo. It's just fucking Jared Genesis. That's that one's lower. That bothers me. I don't know about you guys. That fucking bothers me. I don't like that this is lowercase. That fucking pisses me off, yo. I'm gonna get a PC stick and I'm just gonna emulate the fuck out of it. I'm gonna stream again. Yes, I will stream. Uh, nothing's gonna stop me from that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, Everything's going to be good, bro. It's just going to be a drama-free good time. And you're all invited, okay? <laughs> just be chill. And you can chill with me, bro. No matter who you are, I don't care. But I just... There, there's not going to be any sort of drama on this video. Oh, uh, shit. He's getting a phone call from the FBI. This, but... Is that the FBI calling him to say that, hey, you're allowed in fucking internet time is up for today? <laughs> no, that was my phone. <laughs> Mommy's calling. Anyways, guys... Um, I got to get going. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god, there it is again. The sign of the white supremacist, clearly. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that's not... I, I actually do want to show you guys some Vaughn Helton shit, too. Um, there's like 23 of you motherfuckers watching right now. I would really appreciate if you guys gave this shit a like, because uh, 
you know, it, 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 it inflates my ego and it helps fucking spread the shit around. Uh, let me get this Vaughn health and shit up. Oh, shit. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't have, I didn't even have it up. I thought you guys could see that for a second, but I was just like, yeah, you guys would have seen like my entire fucking content plan for this week, which wouldn't have been that. That yeah, actually wouldn't have been that bad, honestly. I do think that you guys do occasionally deserve a, a peek into what's going on there. Anyway, I'm going to check something out. Uh, Von Helton did some show and tell with his slugs, and I think you guys deserve to see it. <laughs> Give me a second. Just a second. All right, you guys see this shit? Von Helton brought his slugs over. Von Helton brought his slugs over. What's up, Aaron Mesa? Hope you're doing well. Hell yeah. We're going to be watching some Von Helthorn. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I regret saying that instantly. All right, 155.16. Uh, 155.16. Uh, there we go, right here. All right, so Von Helton decides to trail off in his trailer and uh, show off one of his pet slugs. And Solar Marshall down here decides to name it. So let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Well, what I do know is that you're falling asleep and I don't have a Mountain Dew in my hand. So I need Hi, to Brett Wellington. Both of those Hi. <laughs> what a beautiful day it's been, by the way. How is everybody out there? Do we have any friends out there besides just you and me, Vaughn? I hope everybody's doing good. I feel as though I've been blessed today by a couple friends um i feel as though that uh life is picking up things are getting a little better things are some things are getting scary but uh i don't know if von won this or not but there was a federal case won uh yesterday von about the vaccination of people of federal workers you see it if, yes. you, if you look closely me. yes if you look closely you can fucking see that shit it's right there he's already he, i don't know it's like he's like picking like little particles off it or something like that um, I actually showed this to Vila earlier. Like, I actually it was yesterday. I showed it to her yesterday on the stream. I got a bunch of other timestamps, which I'll, I might show off today. I don't know. It depends on how the time runs. But uh, yeah, this is the this is the, <laughs> definitely the craziest one. I showed this to Vila, and I loved getting her live reaction. So uh, let's see what you guys think. The Duh. federal judge, the federal judge, shot down. Yep, the mandatory vaccination of federal workers. That's exactly now. What. I don't know what the Biden administration is going to do. I don't, um, still no news on Alice. She's stable, no improvement. Damn, what well, you know, what I, I, I hope, uh, hope her health improves. You know, and I, don't, I don't care if she's fucking related to Von Helton, like whatever. And then, look, I've heard shitty things about Von Helton's mother and shit like that, but whatever. I, I don't wish death upon anybody, you know what I mean? I, I try not to wish suffering upon pretty much anybody. I don't know if they're going to appeal it or, or what. But apparently, I don't. I don't know if they're gonna. I don't know if they're gonna. Shit, let me let me do the voice. I don't. I don't know if I don't know if they're gonna appeal it or what. But I, I could probably do it better if I actually like got in the zone. But whatever, that's the best you guys get for now. Uh, say hi. Say hi to my. Yeah, yeah, openly avoidant. Yep, yep. Jared Genesis is back. I already did that segment, but um, but yeah, I don't know if you're talking about Jared Genesis or the slug. But, uh, I mean, they're kind of interchangeable, let's be honest. But, yeah, yeah, here's Vaughn showing off the slug. Hello to my little friend. What is it, bro? It's a slug. <laughs> oh, my God. There it is, a slug. There he is. There he is. There he is. Wow. He's looking right at you. How big he's got. Yeah, he's a big, he's a big dude. What's he's his name, dude? Mr. Slug. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no, I have no, I have no idea. idea. That's a great name. <laughs> I have no idea. How about let's just name him Sean. Just name him Sean? Okay. Yeah. Sean, Sean of the oh, Dead. There you go. Sean of the Dead. Sean of the Dead. <laughs> this is making me fucking cringe. Look, I just want to show you off that real fast because Von Helton, he is absolutely fucking obsessed with these slugs. He treats them like his pets. He treats them better than his own goddamn dogs. It's really weird. Maybe it's because he empathizes with, like, these really fucking slimy pieces of shit who are just basically freeloaders. Hey, wait a minute. That is just what Von Helton is. He's just a slimy-ass fucking freeloader. That's all Von Helton is, and that's all he'll ever be. Uh, what's up, JX? So, Von Helton is so afraid of criticism that on Twitch it takes you three months after you follow. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Also, I don't know if you noticed this, but he uh, doesn't allow people to clip his uh, Twitch Twitch uh, streams anymore. That's because of me, because I twitched. I, I, I'm sorry, I twitched. I, <laughs> no, I'm not fucking Frank. Um, no, I, I clipped like three of his fucking um three. I I clipped like three of his fucking streams, 
And he didn't like that because I guess I, I made it blatantly apparent in the title that I was making fun of him. So we just completely disabled the idea to clip on his channel entirely. Jesus Christ, it's crazy. That He's was a movie. He's a liar. Shaun of the Dead was a movie. All right, but anyway, there's my slug. That's that's who that's who uh, Miss Parker wants to kill. This innocent little slug here. I'm pretty it's sure Miss Parker anyway. did not advocate for killing fucking random slugs. Maybe I, you know, I, I figure Miss Parker would be like, "Hey, get him out of your fucking trailer." But I don't think her first instinct would just be instantly to fucking kill the slugs. Like, how about you actually try and clean up your trailer first so slugs do not desire to come in there? I thought she was at. She, her. she wants to kill him for some strange reason. I don't know why. Slugs don't hurt nobody. They don't hurt. They don't hurt anyone. I mean, I mean, there he is, but there he I is. mean, slugs can definitely fuck with people's gardens and shit. Like, yeah, slugs can have negative effects on people's, you know, living environments. Especially if they're literally all over your goddamn fucking house. It's one thing if they're in your yard fucking shit up. I mean, that's part of nature. Not much you can do there. I mean, you can be trying to be a dick and salt them. I wouldn't encourage that. But if you literally have them in your goddamn trailer... It's a part of a bigger issue than the slugs being there in the first place. It's because you literally probably have goddamn rotting, rotting food particles all over your goddamn fucking kitchen, uh, your computer room, all around your goddamn trailer. It's a you problem in general. It's not the fucking slugs. Yes, he's he's wonder he wandered out here, and I I was scared. Of, I'm so afraid of stepping on him. I don't want to step on him. I gotta make sure he stays here in the in the bathroom. So I don't know. He's doing you a service. He's still trying to make these arguments that the fucking slugs are cleaning for him. That's that <laughs> I I how? How? In what fucking way? Is he trying to say that they leave a fucking slime trail of like Kleenex or something like that? Like, what the fuck? It's alright. You get the piece of paper out of the way. And uh, get this turned out. There we go. Alright, very good. Alright, anyway, like I said, oh yeah, Mount, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Okay, get back in here. All right, I've had enough of this shit. I've had enough of this shit. We're moving on to the next one, y'all. We're moving on to the next one. There's some really interesting timestamps in this one. <laughs> Look at this shit. Just, let's just take this in for a moment. Uh, <sighs> That's the ass that Von Helton keeps on fucking bragging about right there. Jesus Christ, motherfucker. Jesus Christ, folks. All right, so why are you weird today? What's Facebook. coming up right here is Vaughn's interesting conspiracy is theory. Acting weird today. He's got another. Oh, conspiracy by the way, theory. by the way, um, yeah. Before I forget it, apparently uh, Pipey must have flagged my show again because I got another award on Twitch. <laughs> I got another award on Twitch. So Vaughn Helton has been receiving. I I can only assume what he means here is he's been receiving strikes on Twitch, but he thinks that because he's also been getting like achievements on Twitch, that it like cancels it out. I I guess that's the logic. I don't know. Maybe you guys can deduce it. I'll I'll continue the clip and just let you guys listen to the rest. Oh shit! I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, you stupid YouTube trolls keep flagging my shit over on Twitch because. Yeah, when you flag my shit, Twitch goes to investigate and it's oh fuck, 400 views. And then they give me another award. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is Solar Marshall actually the new J dubs? I thought he was like people told me that Solar Marshall was like just playing along. I don't know what the truth is anymore. Do they are they joking around? Are they like legitimately friends with Vaughn? I don't I have no idea. Um Vaughn can pick up a slug, but he can't pick up trash. <laughs> I, wow, that's one way to put it. Yeah, when he really I don't know when you say it like that. Uh, I guess if his shower is moldy or shit, they'll eat it. Uh, also, cause they could make his dog sick. Yeah, because dogs will try and eat that. And, like, dogs will eat anything. Even shit they're not supposed to eat. Dogs will put literally anything, even if they shouldn't, in their goddamn mouth. 
<laughs> they give me another fucking award, you idiots. You know, I, lo I love the stupidity of YouTube trolls, man, because they're they're literally that stupid. They really are. They'd, oh, well, we'll get him this time. No, tr Twitch, give me another award. Let me get over there and, and read it. It's not a fucking award. It's it. an achievement system that's only meant to fucking get anything out of dipshits like you. Like, achievements are... Uh, look, whatever. If you like achievement systems, like, they they can be... They can be a little bit fulfilling on, like, the very basic human level of, like, oh, a little bit of dopamine in my head. But they're mostly fucking manipulative. And they're only really, like, something that people like Von Helton get invested in. People who have very little fucking to do with their lives. So they're like, wow, I got a Twitch achievement. Oh, boy, I'm accomplished. When in reality, it doesn't mean shit. It's not an award. It's not an achievement. Oh, well, I mean, guess it, I guess it is an achievement, but you, you don't get anything out of it, so. Stop feeling like you got a big fucking dick. Who the fuck goes around and fucking flexes their Twitch achievements? That's the point I'm trying to make here. Um, Solar Marshall commented on my live and deleted it, but all I see is high Vila Vendetta. I'm not a troll. Oh, okay. Well, gee, I guess so. Um, is he referring? Yes, he, that's what he's talking about. I, I mean, I guess you can deduce that from what I've said, but. Uh, what's up, Bobcat Klein? Also, if you guys like this shit, please do drop a like. It, it helps out a lot. I've been whoring that a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why in particular, but hey, you know, yeah. Well, I started off this fucking stream for like a good five minutes with one viewer. I, I don't think YouTube was being honest with me because I saw like five people in the chat. Like you, goddamn motherfuckers, making me insecure for nothing. You bitches. And uh, let me see which one it is this time. Um, I don't want whispers. What, what is a whisper? Oh, good luck tomorrow. Um, I thought it's funny. I thought it's funny, but yeah, man, I'm averaging anywhere from two to four hundred views. All right, I skipped ahead a bit. Now, I, had, I skipped ahead a bit to get to the interesting bit. Twitch, if you're paying attention, Twitch, um, that Twitch glitch is a real pain. My my last show what got cut up, or the, the show before. The, the show before this is like an insane level conspiracy theory, even by Von Helton standards. <laughs> I hope you guys are shutting down for this. For the one before this one, if that makes sense, was cut into three parts. Morning coffee number 45 was cut into three parts because of some glitch on your end. Now, I know it's not on Facebook's end because fa the Facebook version turned out just fine. So it's something on your end, Twitch. You need to, and it don't happen all that often. It's just very rare. But if it is a YouTube troll that's doing that, Twitch, I am expecting you to prosecute that son of a bitch to the fullest extent of the law because that's destruction. <laughs> okay. So that, that there it is. That's the big fucking hat drop moment. He thinks that a YouTube troll is the reason why his Twitch stream got broken up. That happens to literally everybody on fucking Twitch. It wasn't because of one person's fucking intervention. You think that a multi-fucking billion dollar corporation like Amazon is going to get like, like, I, I don't know, I guess PSN and shit have been infiltrated by hackers before, but it, it's going to be very fucking rare. And why would they specifically go after a nobody like you? Usually they're usually someone who's that fucking, you know, gifted with fucking hacking and shit or whatever the fuck they're doing to get that information. Um, usually someone who has that level of fucking technical insight, they're going to have bigger fucking targets than some nobody on YouTube. I know that you think that you're the center of the fucking entire universe, but you're not, so. Of intellectual property. And we know that destruction of private property is a crime, so I have no reason not to believe that destruction of intellectual property is a crime. Right? How about yeah. you actually... Plus it's happening. Wait, what? Dude, you can't even be bothered to look it up in real time just to make sure if that's the fucking case. You're just like, well, this law generally applies to this thing, so I can't imagine that it would be any different for this completely different form of... Like, just, oh my God, go shove it up your ass, dude. Freaking all that good shit anyway. So, which is going to be an attack on you, not just me. So, Twitch, if the, if you do find it's a YouTube troll, get them in hot water with the authorities. Take my word for it. That'd be, it it's best for both of us. Because that, that Twitch glitch is very annoying. It's extremely annoying. A royal pain in the rear end is what it is. So, uh, yeah. But um, I will, uh, I will endeavor to get back to the kitchen and get back to uh, cutting the phone. He's go. He's moving on to old man noises now, which is what I am going to be doing this morning. 
And uh, if I if I can see my way clear, I'll be painting. Now it is raining outside like crazy. And um, so all right, you know, folks. But there Jesus is there Christ. is no tornadoes. But let me go to let me go to the weather channel. All right, fo all right, folks. I think that's all she wrote for today, everybody. I appreciate you. Um, there's some other fucking timestamps, but I think it would fit better in another stream. So I think I'm gonna call it here. I appreciate every single one of you. Check this shit out. Share this shit out if you like this shit. I'll uh, get the timestamps out there for you guys to watch this shit later. And if you really want to go the extra mile, there's Patreon, there's memberships. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more for my patrons and members soon. Like a really, really cool shit um, where, where you can check that shit out in our Discord server. If you're a patron or member, definitely join the Discord server. Even if you're a regular fucking viewer, hop in there. I appreciate you guys and all your fucking viewership. You guys really do make this worth it. And um, thanks for making my morning a little bit brighter. I hope I can make yours a little bit more entertaining. So thank you guys. And as always, guys, stay fucking toasty. Bye.